Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be covering um, some more of these multi-step questions. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys um, for all of the growth on the channel and especially for the past month. Um, we've been hitting some crazy numbers, but especially thank you for all the emails and lovely kind of messages you've been sending in telling me about how your tests have gone and um, a big shout out to each and every one of you, right? Remember, it's not about the score. The UCAT in itself is a big, big journey um, and it's a big step, um, hopefully one step closer to securing a place at your dream medical school. So um, yeah, no, thank you. And please do keep those messages coming. Coming in. So let's have a look at this question. So in 2021, company B's revenues were 56,000. In 2022, company B's revenues were the same as expenses in 2021. What expenses did company B incur in 2022? When I read this question, I think, what is going on? So remember, in those questions, you'd normally skip and we'd come back to them. So in, when I skip as well, in my mind, I'm thinking, I literally have no clue about this at all. So it's probably one of the very, very last questions I come back to. Importantly, I'd probably read the abstract here. So it says, the graph shows the profit margin percentages of company A and B from 2017 to 22. And if you look down here, we've got some important ideas. So you see the graph has the profit margin percentage, so that's probably gonna be quite useful. And this asks about the expenses that company B incurred. So if you have a look at this here, so profit margin percentage equals the profit divided by revenue times 100, but then profit is equal to revenue minus expenses divided by revenue times 100. So it's probably likely that's how we're going to work out our expenses. So for 2022, let's set it up. For 2022, the percentage for company B was 43%. 43 equals the revenue, which says it's the same as the expenses in 2021. So we're going to have to eventually work that out. Minus the expenses, which is what we're trying to work out, divided by revenue times 100 okay so we have to set up the exact same equation for 2021 actually so once again percentage equals revenue minus expenses over revenue times 100 so for 2021 the percentage is 41 the revenue it says is 56,000 the expenses that's what we're trying to work out and that's e and that's exactly the same as this revenue here because it says in 2022 the company b's revenues were the same as the expenses in 2021 then divide that by 56,000 times by 100. So you see, you can cut off both of those uh, points there. Um, and so, sorry, you can simplify that. And then so 560 times by 560 times that by 41, which gives us um, 560 times that by 41 gives us 22960. So 22. 22960 equals 56,000 minus E. And so therefore expenses is going to equal this minus 56,000, which is 33,040. Okay, so therefore um, the expenses in 2021 is 33,040, which is equal to the revenue in 2022, which is 33,040. So let's set up our equation again. 43 equals... 33,040 minus x divided by 33,040 times 100, okay? And so this is just a bit of a simplification game now. So it's just going to be 43 times 33,040, divide that by 100, and, that, and you get 14207.2. Uh, 14207.2 equals 33,040 minus x. Rearrange and you get x equals... 18,832.8 pounds. Okay, so that's the answer. That's how the expenses that incurred. So it was difficult because you had to apply this question, apply this um, principle, this equation to both um, parts here. So you had to apply it for 2021 and for 2022 and to have the realization to do that. Here, it was like the only thing you could really do because, like I said, I set up 2022 first of all, but then I realized I was missing two variables. I had an R and an X, and X is what we're trying to work out. And R I have to work out by doing another equation. So therefore, I had to set up 2021 as well. Okay. Let's go on to the next question then. Okay. So see if you can try and do this one, perhaps, using some of the ideas and logic. that. We okay. So this next one um, is a little bit tricky. So let's have a look at this. So in 2017, the expenses incurred by both the companies are the same. By what percentage of the companies owned by company B greater than the revenues earned by company A during that year. So once again, I'm probably only going to have to use the same equation, right? So profit margin equals percentage times 100. So profit margin for, let's say this is for A, is therefore percentage, which equals profit minus revenue, which is just revenue minus expenses, divided by revenue 
times 100, so this is 15%, but then I'm going to bring the 100 over, so it basically becomes 0.15 equals revenue, and this is what we can do. We can do an interesting thing where it becomes revenue over revenue minus expenses times revenue. Okay? Um, oh, and I forgot the 100 is no longer there. So you can basically split it. So it looks like this. And because of that, you basically get 0.15 equals 1 minus E over R. So expenses over revenue equals 0.85 for A. Okay? And you know the expenses is going to be the, um, the, the same for both. Okay? Um, so... Therefore, expenses over 0.85 equals the revenue for A. And if we do the same thing for B, so it's percentage equals expenses divided by revenue times 100. So percentage here is 45. We do the same trick again, bring the 100 over, which equals 1 minus E over R. That 1 minus comes from this idea here. I'm just skipping a step. So 0.45 equals... Um, oh, let me... If I appropriately rearrange e over r equals 0.55 so e over 0.55 equals r of b by what percentage of the revenues earned by company b greater than the revenues earned by company a during that time period so um to work out this answer it's so remember e over 0.85 so r over a is so you basically have to do one divided by 0.85 1 divided by so 1 divided by 0.85 which gives you 1.17 1.176 blah 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 so on so the 1.167e um that's the revenue uh for a and then for b it's e divided by 0.55 so that's 1 divided by 0.55 which is 1.818e so by how much percentage of the revenue is earned by B greater than A? So B is here. This is A. So 1.818E minus 1.176E divided by 1.176E. Or, of course, there was the faster way to do it as well. Um, maybe you guys can remind me what the faster way was in the comments down below to work out percentage change. And so, therefore, this is going to become um, 1.818 minus... 1.1 oh, 1.818 minus 1.176 divided by 1.176 and you get 54.59 um, basically is what I got rounded 54.59% and that's how you work it out so it's complex this is a tricky set of questions indeed um, but this is the way to go about doing it Okay, um, but once again, we're relying on using that equation and just messing with it until we can hopefully get to the answer. That's all it is. Okay. Okay, so for this one, we're looking at 2019. The revenues earned by company A and B were these numbers. By what percentage was the profit made by company B greater than that made by company A? So, profit margin percentage, actually, we'll do it up here. Um, so, for A, profit margin percentage equals profit divided by revenues times 100 okay so in 2019 for a that's 21 percent bring the 100 over so 0 0.21 equals the profit divided by the revenue of 23,000 so pull up my calculator 23 23,000 times that by 0 0.21 and you get 4,830 Okay, so the profit is 4,830. Then for B, percentage equals P divided by R times 100. Um, percentage here is 0 0.53, which is the profit, um, which we are to work out, divided by the revenue, which was 41,000. So 0 0.53 times 41,000. Gives me 21730. So 21730 equals the profit. So you, some of you may be wondering why didn't I split it into revenue and expenses again? Because it didn't really mention anything about expenses here. Like I, the only reason why I broke it down last time is because it mentioned words like expenses. So I didn't really need to break this down any further into revenue minus expenses. Okay. So you get your two numbers. 
so by what percentage does the profit maybe be greater? So all you just have to do is calculate it. And so here, I'm going to use the shortcut this time around. I'm with the shortcut for percentage change. It's just these two values, one divided by the other. Subtract by one, and then times by 100 to get as a percentage. So 21730 divided by 4830 minus one, times that by 100, so you get about 349.9%, which equals 300 and 49.90%. Okay, cool. So let's keep going on to the next question then. So this is the last question in the set, I believe. Um, so if you guys would like to have a go at it, first of all, maybe you can pause the video. So on to uh, this question. So for company B, what was the difference between the percentage increase and the profit margin percentage from 2020 to 2021? and that from 21 to 2022. Okay, so actually this question is not that bad. So normally one of the, the ideas that I said is it's normally the earlier questions in the set are that nicer. Here it appears to be the other way around, right? So remember, that's just an idea. It's not necessarily always true. So the percentage increase in the profit margin percentage from 2021 to 2022, this for company B. So the change here compared to the change here, okay? So this is just going to be 41 over 35 minus 1 times by 100 to find the initial percentage. So that's just going to be 41 divided by 35 minus 1 times 100, which is 17.14%. Then for the second set of numbers, it's 41, sorry, it's 43 divided by 41 minus 1 times 100. So 43 divided by 41 minus 1 times 100 is 4.88%. Okay, um, so therefore, what is the difference between these percentage increases? You just have to subtract one from the other and you end up with minus 17.14. You end up with about 12.26%. So 12.26%, which is your answer. So quite a nice question to end off the set there, actually. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And I think this is a question set that's been plaguing quite a few people, but hopefully it makes sense. Like this whole idea of profit margin is quite difficult to wrap your head around. But you can see it's just important to use the equations and also the info in the question. If it mentions expenses, you have to break down profit into revenue minus expenses. If it doesn't, then there's no need to, right? Follow the question, really attack it um, and take it from there. Okay, 